Alrighty, so let's take a look at the rule of nines that we're going to use for burn. So this is basically a guideline to tell us an estimation of how much or the percentage of burns on a person's body. So uh, we calculate the total body surface area or TBSA and this is a way that we can get the estimation very quickly about the percentage of burns on a person's body and then we can use this to estimate their fluids and other things like that but this is just a tool to quickly estimate that so let's go ahead and see how we do this so we go over to our 2d model of a 3d person that's very poorly drawn uh, with a floating head as well so there's that okay so how are we gonna do this so what you need to know is basically this is going to be divided into 11 sections of 9. So 11 uh, percentage points times 9. Uh, sorry, 11 areas times 9% is going to give us 99%. And then we have one little area that's 1%. So this gives us 100% of the body. And so it depends on how much uh, person's, uh, how much burn a person has so if let's say it's only their uh, arms or something like that obviously it's not going to be a hundred percent it would be a number less than that and so let's go ahead and look at those different sections so if we imagine here this is our anterior side and our posterior side so anterior side we're gonna have if their entire anterior uh, this would be the right arm so an entire anterior right arm is burned that would be 4.5% plus the posterior would be another 4.5 percent so their entire right arm entire right arm is going to be nine percent so if their entire right arm is burned we estimate that as a nine percent uh, burn of the total body surface area so let's go ahead and see this it's going to be the same thing for the left arm so 4.5 percent on each side totaling up to nine percent so let's go ahead, write 4.5, 4.5. Okay, and let's explore the other area. So same thing with the head. Anterior side is going to be 4.5%. So if only their anterior head is burned um, or has burns on it, then it's going to be 4.5%. And then if their entire head, we're going to say 9% because we have, once again, the 4.5 plus the 4.5% for each side of the head. But the entire head is going to be nine percent and then we have this anterior trunk area we're going to split this into two so we have like the chest area that's going to be an entire nine percent by itself because it's uh you can think of this um like it's a much larger surface area compared to the arm so this is going to be nine percent by itself and then this abdominal area nine percent as well same thing on the back side split it into two 9% on the upper back and 9% on the lower back. Okay, and then let's keep moving. So we have this, uh, I'll go ahead and do this special area, the perineum. That's just going to be 1%. It's a really small area compared to the rest. And so the entire perineum is just going to be 1%. And then we have over here, so we have the entire anterior right leg is going to be 9% by itself and yes it is uh, it has a lot more surface area compared to the hands or the arms so the entire anterior portion gets 9% and then same thing with the left side 9% and then the back side as well they both get 9% so 9% for the, uh, both left and right side and so here we have a total body surface area of 100%. And let's go ahead and see. So we need 11 areas of 9. 11 times 9% uh, is 99% plus our 1%. So let's go ahead and check that. So entire right arm, 9%. So we have uh, 1, 2, the left arm, 3, 4 on the anterior trunk side, 5, 6 on the back, and then the legs. Uh, so we're at six, seven, eight, nine, ten for the all uh, anterior and posterior leg side, and then the head is going to be eleven. So eleven times nine, ninety-nine percent plus our perineum, 
which is 1%. So if their entire body is burned, that would obviously be 100%. And then uh, depending on the burns that they have in the other areas, you would calculate that and get your, uh, or you would calculate that using the rule of nines to get your total body surface area that is burned. And this will give us a quick estimation of the amount of burns on their body. Hope this helps.